Good evening. The state's regional stay at home order officially took effect in Kern County. The San Joaquin Valley's ICU capacity fell under the 15% threshold and now many businesses here in the county were forced to close. Outdoor dining, hair salons and barber shops shut down once again. But what does the county's ICU bed capacity look like? 23 ABC's Alex Bell has more details on where Dignity Health says their three hospitals are at when it comes to ICU bed capacity. Alex. Yes, good evening. Earlier today, the governor uh, reviewed the San Joaquin Valley's ICU bed capacity. And also earlier today, Dignity Health had a meeting to discuss what's going on in their hospitals locally. So this evening, I'm so happy to be joined by Ken Keller. He is the CEO and president of Memorial Bakersfield Hospital. So Ken, I know that you're very busy, so thank you for joining us this evening. We talked about the ICU bed capacity earlier, so can you give our viewers a little bit of a breakdown of what the current ICU bed status is for the three locations? under dignity. Yes, ma'am. Between Mercy Memorial Hospitals, we have about 65 ICU beds. And right now we've got about 17 or so that are open and available. As we mentioned in the phone call this morning, you know that number changes throughout the course of the day based upon how patients are doing. So out of the three locations, you guys have 65 beds. Currently only 17 are open. Yes, ma'am. Is that cause for concern? Uh, it's cause for us to continue to, to manage and make sure that we continue to do a good job in managing those patients and caring for those patients. It's also cause for us to continue to con connect with the community at large to reinforce those safe practices that we constantly hear about. Now, the patients in those ICU beds, that is a mixture of just people that are getting normal care as well as COVID. Those are not all COVID patients. That's correct. It's it's when we say an ICU bed, we, we're talking regardless of why they're there, but the, the total ICU capacity, that's correct. Now, what if you guys do reach capacity between the three locations? What kind of contingency plans are in place for the hospitals? Well, one of the things that we've been doing all along in the last nine months is preparing for the quote surge of ICU patients. So we have plans in place to expand our capacity by an additional 20 to 25 percent to take on additional patients if we need to do so. And then two final questions. I know that earlier in the meeting, something you said that struck me, you said we're probably going to run out of nurses before we run out of ICU beds. What did you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is we have the ability to, I'll say, get creative as locations to care for patients that need ICU level care or med surge level care. One of the things that we can't do is very quickly manufacture additional nurses. And so the, the staffing plan to staff those ICU beds is extremely important for us as well. Absolutely. And then final question, I know the governor said earlier today that we should see vaccines in California by December 15th. Is that an accurate timeline for Kern County? Based on what we're hearing from the governor, if all goes well in the next few days, we should have it during, I'm going to say next week. Next week, you would yes, say. All right. Thank you so much, Ken. We appreciate it. We know you got some meetings to get back to. Thank you for your and time. And coming up in our eight o'clock show, we're going to have more on what Governor Newsom is saying about the San Joaquin Valley. So we'll have more of that coming back up at eight. Jess.